60 Minutes Overtime. This week on 60 Minutes, we spoke to David Nielsen, a former senior portfolio manager at Ensign Peak Advisors. The firm is the investment arm of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. In 2019, David Nielsen filed a whistleblower complaint with the IRS that alleged Ensign Peak had violated its tax exemption from the IRS. The IRS does not comment on whistleblower complaints. We met Nielsen in Salt Lake City. This is the first time he has spoken publicly about his whistleblower complaint and why he came forward. So you're doing well on Wall Street, you go to business school. Surely you could have stayed on Wall Street and made a fortune. Why did you decide to come to Utah? Because they asked. Um, I was in business school in 2009, and the chief investment officer said, please come in. We, we, we want you to work here. And over the next year or so, I was recruited into Ensign Peak. And what did you know about the firm, the Not size much. of it? Almost, I mean, really, almost nothing. It's, it's very secretive. I had no idea the size of the assets when I was even hired. It wasn't until the very first day that I knew. They asked me to guess, how much money do you think we have? I, I guessed 30 billion. Um, it was a little more than that at the time, but we just didn't know. What was the culture like at Ensign Peak? There's a, there's a difference between the people and the culture. Some of the people there are the best people I've ever known, really. And, and I love a lot of them. And I know this is hard for them. But the culture grew into something that was unhealthy. What do you mean unhealthy? In order to hide a hundred billion dollars, you can't do it with just one lie. It's a lot to keep that going. And when you build a company on so much secrecy and a need to conceal, it creates an, a leadership tone from the top that we can do whatever we want as long as it's to stay hidden. How important was it for assets to stay hidden? It was mission one. Explain how the tithe is supposed to be used. It's swept into Ensign Peak accounts every week. And eventually the cash builds until it becomes a substantial amount. And then that tithing will get allocated to Ensign Peak's funds. Tithing from the church's perspective is to do the work of building the kingdom of God. Tithing is what's used to build buildings. It's what's used to pay the light bills. Tithing is what's used to uh, operate some of the church's programs. But tithing is also used for saving. The church has made it clear a, a significant portion of their tithing is saved on a regular basis, probably around 20%. And that seems like a reasonable use of tithing to save for a rainy day. They say that the money's tithed with, with no strings to it, that it's a matter of trust, and that you have to trust that it's going to be invested in the right way, and that's what we're here for. Well, it's easy to manage if you don't have to be accountable, right? If you just say, trust us, and we won't tell you, then sure, it's easier to manage. You can move money around however you want. Anyone who asks a question isn't going to get an answer. I don't think that's healthy. Why'd you file the complaint with the IRS? This is too big a deal. This is important. This is not an example for how we should be. I couldn't fix things from inside. At some point, I knew I had to do something outside. I didn't know at the time when I left what to do. If they say he's just trying to cash in, what do you say? People have said far worse things about me over the last several years. <laughs> and, you know, I think people will say whatever they're going to say. The Congress set up the whistleblower 
program the way that they did. I don't profess to understand it. I'll tell you, I'm grateful for it. I really am. This has been difficult on you, obviously, personally, on your family, professionally. Any regrets? I try so hard not to live my life with regrets, but I think we all have some. I, I did my best, and sometimes your best isn't good enough. That's okay. We just move forward. What's at stake? Integrity. Integrity is at stake. Mine. Enzyme Peaks. The churches. We gotta go through a process. Make the world better. There are critics who say this sounds an awful lot like an investment bank and they're not paying taxes. It's not an investment bank. It's the church's treasury. It's the church's cash management. Uh, it's the church's bank. They're just holding the assets, reserves, on behalf of the church as an auxiliary of the church and providing us with those resources that we need in order to operate as a church. Church leaders in the past have spoken about prudent savings. When does prudent become excessive? For the church? Um, I don't know if it's ever becoming excessive because it's all going to be used at some point. We're learning how to use those resources. Again, the, the, the totality of the resources right now, again, hasn't always been there. We continue to save and put money aside, and we use it. We will double the humanitarian work again and then again. We will continue to build temples that require those resources and the maintenance of those temples. Church members we spoke to have talked about an erosion of trust because of the secrecy. Is there any discussion about regular disclosure of what's happening with church finances? No, there's no more discussion about disclosing the, 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 the value of the, the totality of the resource at Ensign Peak. Because? Uh, because it's, it's confidential. Um, and we do, again, disclose and announce the building of temples. We do announce missionary work. We do share what we're doing with humanitarian work. I think part of the a lack of trust or lack of confidence comes from statements or, or comments from a whistleblower who doesn't have all the information, who doesn't understand. They were incorrect, and that's not how it works. When we're talking to church members, that's what they're saying to us is that they're blown away by this, that, you know, there's reportedly, we don't know, right, hundreds of millions of dollars under management, and it's sitting there, and it should be used. Well, there are 17 million members of the church, and so of 17 million all over the world, you're going to have many people with varying opinions. And, and so I'm sure there are some members of the church that are saying that. There are many members of the church who aren't saying that.